people of Earth. There's something that has somehow been lost in society. Uh, this is a pull start on a snowblower, but this could be the pull start on a lawnmower or any other piece of small equipment. Um, your grandparents, maybe your great grandparents, they used to have to hand wrap that thing around a pulley and give this thing a yank to start it. But for a very long time, there's been pull starts. People break them constantly because they're just yanking on them. Uh, I'm gonna run through a quick cold start procedure just to just to do it. Uh, fuel on. This thing is stone cold, so it might be a little bit hard to start, but you'll get the idea. This thing has a choke. I'm gonna set it to the choke setting. I'm gonna throttle it up off of the stop position there. And there's a primer bulb on this one. And so I'm just gonna squeeze that a few times so you can hear it kind of squish a little bit so you know there's fuel in there. Okay, back to the pull start. So this engine has something called a compression stroke. Every engine has one, especially a single cylinder. You're gonna feel it. I want you to go ahead and pull this thing over nice and easy and feel how there's a lot more tension in some spots than others. And what you want to do is go ahead and set it up right before the compression stroke, which is where it's a lot harder to turn over, which is right there. You're gonna, as you pull it out, you're gonna feel the ratchet engage and get it to that engagement point. Hang on to the thing and give it a good yank. It should probably start. I said it's not that complicated, but somehow this has been lost on society. I hope it helps.